level player. He's like, you know what? I'm going to play my game. I understand the game. I'm going to keep going at it. He attacks. He waits. Boom. He's, not, he's, he's never worried right. that he's down or up, which... You, you learn from the tournaments. All right, so we're going to get CSS, and we're going to get uh, everyone's online enemy, number one, public enemy number one. It wasn't King K. Rule, guys. It's actually Lucas. Nobody wants to see PK freeze. Well, we're, we're in for a very interesting treat here. Normally, we see Senpai on the Beast Coast over here with Wadi on vacation of sorts. We're also getting Pokemon Stadium 1. I don't think they knew, but I don't mind the little change. You know, get a little, get a little melee action going in here, Pokemon Stadium 1. No transformation, obviously. The screen in the back always throws me for a loop. 35% is racked up. You got to respect the PK fire oh, from didn't Lucas. That. Nice shield. That's going to shut down the, the Paralyzer options from Senpai. So yeah. They play that. Yeah, I was going to say, one thing with Cinepi is, uh, I mean, I think this Lucas is trying to bait her out. The thing is, lasers in this game with DSS, they've, I, I don't want to say they've been nerfed, but it has been, the trajectory is really slow in this game. So, like, somebody like Ness can easily rack up, like, percent back from quickly doing down B. Even the trade Ooh. he'll take off. See, that's what I was talking about. PK Freeze, Ice in this game. Grounded hits got a buff, and Ice got a buff. Can he Metal follow? Smash, not going to nice. be enough. Only 70% Cinepi regains control of the stage. Just misses that. Lucas jockeying for a position. L's like, I'm trying to take the W out of this body. Yeah, I was going to say, L, L's definitely taking more percent. Nice up B out of shield. Not going to kill, though. Uh, way too early. I was going to say, if he didn't absorb those three lasers, 100% was at death percent. Nice up B out of shield again. Oh. Nice. That was nice. I like that. She, she baited out the Zare because most you know most players want to get up attack like well coming from ledge they think it's a lot of, it's very safe compared to neutral and she just baited that out and was like you know what i'll hit you again what do you, what you got to say about that lucas needs a little more meat on his bones get taken out at about 100 percent nice combination l looking for the pk freeze nice avoidance there by senpai Ooh, wow Call him down the back. there's a nice spot dodge goes in gets the yoink Nice jabs from there. Zeros and Sam's was one of actually the fastest jabs in the game. Um, I think frame two or frame one. Like, uh, I think Little Mac had the number one one. But uh, Zeros and Sam's is up there. I'm pretty sure it's frame one. 60% sure. Uh, yeah, Lucas is, I don't know what he's looking for right now. Like, he doesn't seem like he's, he's attacking, even though Zeros and Sam's is at death percent. He's just kind of like, you know what I mean? Like, he's like, ah, I'm not going to go he's in. He's looking for the opening, and Senpai is not the really the kind of player who's just like, well, I'm just going to take my hands off control. You can kill me for free. Yeah. You have to earn those openings. One of the things I'm really curious to see over the course of this game in particular is this moment right here. How Lucas utilizes the platforms on the stage to deal with Senpai Samus on the return because you can get buried pretty easily. We saw him get buried in the, in the middle of the stage. Mm -hmm. So with the options that Lucas has going for the PK fire like Ooh, that, wow. you don't need to stick your neck too far out there to get buried. Nice. Yeah, I was going to say I like that Cinepi is um, constantly attacking. Even though she was at 130, 120, she knew she was at death percent from the whole time. She's like, you know what? I got to keep, like, you know, I got to rush him down. Like, I know he's trying to wait back and all this, but Zero Suit Sam's game is proficient in rushdown. And she, she's playing it well right now. Okay, L really adapting a lot more, but I'm a little shocked that uh, PK Thunder killed at 135. But, oh, 106. But there you go. Yeah, end hit. All it takes. I'll be, you know... People are always like, old up beef in Smash 4, obviously it was amazing. You know, Nairo showed us all. But Zinifi is showing that here, 80, 90, like, you know, don't be don't be coming in with reckless attacks. <laughs> I'll be out of shields right away. Life is short, especially stocks. Ooh, 40% have... already racked up, halfway there into a potential kill target range. <gasps> Looking for a win. There's the Paralyzer. Follows up, establishes control of the stage. Lucas is able to get back on. Throws out the grabs. Trying to go for the Zare. Yeah. Doesn't work so far. Well, I, I like what she was doing before. She was trying to Nair. She, she, there's a, Nair follows up into almost any combo. And at the percent Ness was at, I, she tried to read a roll earlier and get Nair into down B off the uh, left side of ledge. Oh, this could be it. Up B. There it is. Had time right, to go. Like, let, me, let me get positioned perfectly for this. Smile pretty. Here's the camera. GG. Yeah, you called it, man. You're like, you know what? I want to see a grounded hand. She's like, hold up. I, I got you. I got you for last time. Got stock. you covered. All right. So One thing, it, it seemed like the full kit of Lucas never really was actualized in that game. We saw a lot of pro like poking and prodding with the PK fire. We saw the shield come out. We saw the, the PK freeze come out. Uh, a couple of times. Yeah, but there was no pretty decent effect. But there was no, there were no aerials. Mm -hmm. I feel like Lucas's strength is in more his close-up game. He feels more like a, a bruiser brawler version of Ness. So when you're trying to go for his keep away and just, you know, I'm gonna use PK fire to keep you off of me. He 
you gotta get up someone like you gotta get someone up to like 180 to kill with it. That's true. I mean, uh, one thing he this nest never really nared. Uh, he is trying to follow with like a lot of short hit bears. However, he wasn't he wasn't really anti airing. And the other thing he like that I've noticed that he was kind of doing was at an advan at advantageous moments he would never take advantage. Like, which is literally in the term. Like, <laughs> it's just like, hey man, like, this is your chance for a win. And if he was like, all right, I'm gonna wait back, and he racked up too much damage. And essentially, it was a catch up game the whole game for him. All right, final destination is the choice for L. Pretty curious because the platforms of Pokemon Stadium could deal with the burial return of Zero Suit Samus. Taking those options away from yourself could work against Lucas's wow. odds for survival. Going for the spike, just misses it. Lucas gets back on the stage, looking for the grab, just misses that. Forward tilt, keeping the pressure on. See, okay, this, this Lucas, like, he's doing a lot of, sh and, like, he's like, doing a lot Ooh. of short hops. That's gonna kill him. Uh, he's doing Got a lot of short hops, and he's not really getting any follow-up. One thing I would like to see is he, uh, Lucas has one of the best Zares. There you go, he finally Zares. Zares Zare really leads into anything. It's just, however, he's just getting caught, like, non-stop. Like, see, Cinebite's throwing out grabs, and Lucas is throwing out an aerial, and it's just, like, dude, you're getting caught from these grabs. You gotta be a little bit safer from there, or you gotta go in with the aerial past the grab. But, you know, maybe L will bring it back right here. Maybe he's gonna be like, you know what? Where L's been struggling so far, really starting to feel like Sinfai is hitting her stride. Only 92% racked up on their first stock. It's he's back on the stage, two just jukes the PK freeze. Oh. Nicely done there. There's yeah, the throw. He, L looking for, for the kill. He didn't mean the back throw there. But now, uh, he, I thought he could have get the back throw there, but he kind of rushed it. And you're right, Sinfai really is hitting her stride. Like, look, she's at 120, and she's still going in. She's, like, she's up a whole stock, she knows. It doesn't matter, any trade Any trade is beneficial to her right now. So she's like, you know what, I have nothing to lose. <laughs> oh man, Captain with the dare, like, well, right, I like well, that. Well, here, here's the thing, she's going in because if she didn't, I feel like they'd just both be standing there on the stage. That's true. Another up B on the verge of a potential three stock, 146%, one smash should do it. Senpai keeps the pressure on, see what kind of low percentage combo she's gonna be able to get. Uh, Ultra? Okay, yeah. That was Lucas' throws did get nerfed compared to Smash 4. However, they're all still kill options from there. See right there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, she misses a grab, and he's like, ah, I don't want to punish. That, that wouldn't be nice. Right? And it's like, dude, that's how, that's how you get a combo starter going, man. But let's see. Down throw. Can he follow up? No, nothing on there. Ness is the, uh, I mean, Lucas, excuse me. We just had a Ness. Uh, Lucas' down throw really got a bad buff nerf because it does not send you into combo directions anymore and the, the grounded hit it's fake like it's not you're not really grounded it's just part of the animation Lucas gets back going on the stage there's a combination chases after Sinfai uses the get up nice attack dodge. spot dodge L starting to feel himself a little bit PK freeze Ooh, gee, manages I don't think the juke to spike gets around that one Sinfai back on the stage looks for the burial just misses that 82% looking for the kill definitely can do it with another berry. Yeah, she's looking she's definitely looking for that berry or she's just looking to get him up to around one uh about about one oh one back air would kill from here. Ooh, catch her again. Nice match out. But uh, the Elf is taking way too many hits man like ooh ooh no that's follow up. What, that's what I've been kinda looking for out of the Lucas play this entire set. Using the aerials, finding those opportunities on the downbeats of these transactions. Nice attack there. Yeah, I think he's, get, he's been hit by every uh, side side special by Cinepi. Like, each side B has not only just hit, but it's got the sweet spot. Nice bear there. Not going to kill, though. He's completely opposite side of the oh, That's it. Welcome back. That's it. Oh, and it was at that moment I was like, maybe I should have picked a stage that had some platforms. <laughs> yeah. Because when you he know, got his head jumped. <sighs> feels bad, man. You know, I, I've never, I've never seen... <laughs> Six boost kicks, man. All right. I, I've never seen L in 